Got fuzzle. What do you like? I know. It's from the Halloween mask. Oh, stop face fucking your microphone. <laughs> You're gonna fucking do that. At least polish it real nice. You know? know? Don't forget about the head, man. Good? (laughs) Good? You want a fucking dust devil? (laughs) What are we talking about? (laughs) Comic Con. DC trailers. Nerd stuff. I love it. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a fresh episode of The Basement Surge. Uh, This episode, Frank and I are going to be going over New York City Comic Con. My feet hurt. This episode's a little late because Comic Con was a couple weeks ago, but better late than never. We've been busy. (laughs) He's been working. I've been working. And also the the awesome movie trailers that came out of DC Fandom. Oh, yeah. So... Let's get to it. Let's go. Turn up the volume. The volume. From the basement of the Empire State, this is The Basement Surge with John and Frank. Three, two, one. Welcome back to The Basement Surge. Frank, how you doing? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, it's good to see you. Uh, it's good uh, to see you. That's where I got my shot. <laughs> uh. How's it going, everybody? <laughs> oh. I missed the basement. I missed the surge. I, mean, I, missed, I missed you most of all. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> Oh, man. How you doing, everybody? Uh, thank you for joining us today, cool. where we will be covering New York City Comic Con and DC Fandom trailers. Um, but let's get this out of the way first, okay? If you are listening to us on a podcast listening app right now, stop <laughs> and head on over to YouTube. Give us a subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And Frank, ring that motherfucking bell. That's my arm. Do it twice if you have to. <laughs> That's my arm, you prick. Sorry. Oh. You're okay. Don't, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't look at it. Don't think about it. <laughs> nothing. Oh, man. Absolutely New- nothing. New York City Comic Con is one of the biggest shows oh, in the yeah. comic book industry. Okay? And it, it happens great. every year. It was so great. It happens every year here at the Javits Center. Um, along with uh, the Comic Con that happens in San Diego, that's uh, another time. Yeah. But um, New York City Comic Con over here at the Javits Center is amazing every single year. Um, you know, and Frank was actually fortunate enough to go this year. So I went. we're uh, we're gonna sit back and let him tell a couple stories about his experience at New York City Comic Con. Oh, it was fantastic, dude. Yeah. First off, getting in there was a bitch. Was it really? Yeah. Because you had to show uh, proof of vaccination yeah. in New York City, New York State, proof of vaccination in order to get in. So once you did that, they gave you these wristbands. Yeah. Once you put those wristbands on, if you took it off, you know, if you didn't want to have it on anymore and you cut it off for the end of the day, yeah. when you came back the next day, you'd have to go through the whole screening process again. Really? Yeah. So I just kept mine on for like four days. So- <laughs> Four days straight. It's, you know, it's all right. You you could shower with yeah. it and everything. It was fine. No, it, I mean it didn't smell. It's like one of those plastic bands, right? No, no. It was like, it was like a nylon. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And it, and you could like make it tighter as, as tight as you want to. So uh, I grabbed mine by accident. I made it too tight. So when I went there the one the next day, I showed him my wristband. I said, "Can I have another one? This one's too tight." He goes, mm. "He goes, oh, you pulled it." Well, yeah, that's how you make it tighter. <laughs> So I just cut it off and I put a new one on, but I left it a little loose. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we went to drive Jav Center. We took the train there. Me and my girlfriend. She bought the tickets for my birthday. You know, because my 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 birthday was the seventh, so it was the first day of Comic Con. Was my birthday. I had a fucking hat on. Nice. Hat on Happy birthday to you. Yes, thirty seven <laughs> motherfuckers. You old bastard. That's that's all right. I already made it here. Okay, These people who fuck with me, they gotta make it this far. <laughs> I, 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 I tell my kids all the time, to keep messing with dad. What? I already made it this to, to, to this age. You got to make it here. Yep, that's right. Fuck around. <laughs> but when the first stop I made, the first stop I made was, well, before I get to that, the one thing you have to know is New York Comic Con is where anime is. 
I'm a huge anime fan. Mm-hmm. And my first stop was Dragon Ball. Dragon right. Ball Z. Yeah, you, you had sent me a bunch of pictures. I sent you a picture of the great ape. Right. Of Vegeta. And yeah. you saw a guy standing next to it, and you saw how fucking huge it was. Yeah. Yeah, right? th- these were life-size statues. Yeah. Like, Crazy. Like, Tien was bigger than me. Yeah. I was about the same size as Goku. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, it was funny <laughs> because in the, in, the, in the manga, Goku was like 5'9", five 5'10". Five He's yeah. not that tall. Right. You know, Piccolo's seven and a half feet tall. Tien's like six something. He is like your height. Yeah. So when I stood next to Goku, I was almost about the same height as him, except he has the big hair. Right. So that's why he looked taller because of the big hair, but it was almost the same size. Yeah. Took if you, a- you check, hang on. If you check out our website, thebasementsurge.com, uh, you'll see a blog post with uh, Frank's visit to Comic Con where you can see a bunch of pictures and see what he's actually talking about because he, he took a nice little pose with the Ginyu Force. I took a pose with the Ginyu Force. And I was like. <laughs> It's great. You got to pose with the Ginyu Force. I mean, Absolutely. The whole thing is about the poses. Yeah. But <laughs> I saw this preview, but they were giving away these bags. Every year they give away the, these backpack bags. Mm-hmm. So they're not they're not cloth. They're like that that nice, you know, it's like a plastic, but it's not. Yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't know the name of the material. It escapes uh, me at the polyester? Moment. Who knows? Oh, fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it has Goku on it, and it says like Dragon Ball Super Heroes. Yeah. So it's like a backpack that you could put stuff in the, when you were shopping around Comic Con. Makes sense because you don't want to carry all that. No, because you you could buy a, a ton of little stuff and uh, and art and oh. statues and. So I, me and Jamie, waited online that circled all the way around. Mm. You come in, they scan your pass, boom, you get yourself a bag. Inside the bag is a Super Saiyan blue headband to put on, um, <laughs> a pack of cards for the new Dragon Ball Z uh, Super Card Game. Really? Yeah, I got like four packs of cards. Oh, wow. Because you could go back and get a bag every day that you're there. Because yeah. Because they, they scan it per day. Right. So I only went, uh, the reason I went back and got another bag was because my first bag on Thursday got caught in the door when I was trying to carry stuff out and it ripped. Oh. So I was like, fuck. And Jamie's like, don't worry, you could get a new bag tomorrow because it's a different day. Yeah. I said, oh, cool. So I wasn't greedy. I didn't get a bag every day I was there. I just went back and I got would've. a bag because mine was ripped. I would have got a new bag every day. I know you would have. <laughs> <laughs> Only child syndrome, you know what I mean? Mine! <laughs> well. It's my bag. Dad, can we put stuff in your bag? No. Why? My bag. <laughs> it's for my stuff. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> my bag. Oh. Get, get your own bag. Yeah. But uh, I, stopped. I, I stopped at a bunch of different places, saw so many things. The statues, the vendors. Um, I took a look at uh, Bulletproof. Yep. I sent you a couple pictures from there with mm-hmm. the Conjury comic book. All these people selling comics. I saw two vendors get into a brawl over over a deal. Really? Not even buyers, not even patrons. No, two vendors started yeah. brawling. Wow. Over over a comic book deal. So I was like, this, this shit got real, real quick. <laughs> and you didn't realize how many police were there until something happened. And then just... <sighs> yeah. I mean, like, they, you're looking up. Like, oh, yeah. I'm sure there's tons of un- undercover cops oh, walking yeah. around. Oh, yeah. Uh, one of the things I was most excited about was seeing the My Hero Academia um, trailer for the new movie coming out, uh, Heroes Worldwide. Mm. Really cool. Uh, I think by now they should have posted it on YouTube because it was a Comic-Con exclusive, exclusive trailer. And they were so adamant about things this year, about when they were showing trailers or clips and stuff. If you had your phone out, like, and you tried to record, and they had security walking around everywhere. Yeah. If you did that, you're ejected from Comic-Con. Right. Not yeah. from the trailer. No. Yeah. You are out of the Javits Center. You are gone. Right. I don't care if you paid $600 for these <clears throat> tickets. Mm-hmm. These are the rules. Don't do it. Because they leak the trailers online. Yeah. But, uh, I, like I said, I'm a big anime fan. I got myself an Attack on Titan <laughs> mystery box. I got a My Hero Academia mystery box. I got Dragon Ball Z. I got a nice round four-star plush... Uh, ball Dragon Ball blanket for my son. I, I saw. I, I, yeah. I showed you a picture. I wrapped him up in it. That's for him. It's like you get that to the baby. Yeah, I gave that to the baby. That's a, it's a plush blanket. It's for a baby. <laughs> sure. Why yeah, not? I got. Cups. I would have kept it. I would have said my blanket. I know, right. but I got a blanket from My Hero Academia, <laughs> so I didn't need it. Yeah. I kept that one. All right. You know, that's like my new vice right now. I watch that with the baby when I'm home. With I don't it. like the show. It's great. <laughs> it's so great. It's so popular. It's it's like it's good. It's something for me to watch because I already finished Attack on Titan. Yeah. So I needed something new to watch, and uh, and my friend told me to watch this, and I was like, "This is great." So, so what what about like DC and Marvel stuff? Was any of that there? Oh yeah, yeah. 
Oh, yeah, they had a bunch of stuff. There was more stuff on Saturday. I didn't have a Saturday ticket, so I missed a lot of that stuff. Like, I missed John Cena. Mm. I missed uh, Hayden Christensen. Okay. You know, but uh, William Shatner was there. Because I, I had heard that DC wasn't really going to be there only because they were doing the fandom. Yeah. You know, like all their trailers and everything, they say They had no DC trailers at Comic-Con at all. Right. There was, there, there was merchandise and there was things like that, but there was no, like, specific DC people. Yeah. It was a lot of anime. It was a lot. Uh, there was some Marvel stuff. Artist Alley was kicking ass this year. Oh, man. Artist Alley was massive. Massive. There was so many people down there. So many different artists. I mean, I was sending you names. I was texting you names. Like, like you know this guy? You know this guy? Because yeah. I, I don't know too many artists, but he does. Yeah. But one of the artists I went to go see was uh, Frank Cho. Yep. You know? And I went to go see him to check out his art. I went, I went to uh, Bulletproof. I looked at their art. I took a picture of his cover art. For the comic, if you guys didn't see it, check it out. It's cool stuff. I got myself an autographed copy because, you know, I do what I got to do <laughs> to get what I need. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, who knows? Maybe next year um, I'll I'll be in Artist Alley at Comic-Con. I think it's going to be bigger, better <clears throat> next year. Now, you know, we're still we're still coming out of that COVID thing, so it wasn't yeah. as much. Right. You know, but um, I got to meet Dante Basco, who is Rufio from Hook. Who is the voice actor for Prince Zuko from oh, okay. uh, from Avatar: The Last Airbender? Yep. So I got to meet him. Super nice guy. Super super nice. Mm -hmm. He was there for like he was there for hours. He did not stop. Wow. Taking pictures, signing autographs, talking to fans, multiple fans at a time. That's awesome. And I got to meet Janet Varney, who's the voice of Korra, Avatar Korra from Legends of Korra. Yeah, I didn't like that one so much. I didn't like Korra too much either, but Miss Varney, super bubbly, <laughs> really? super nice. Talking to people, loved hanging out, loved seeing the fans and the mm. reaction. Just really like you, you got this nice feeling from from them. Nice, and uh, you know, and so I got them to autograph my pop figures, mm -hmm. which I put into a into a safety case so it doesn't mess up the autograph. I'm never going to sell them, but I don't want them to get messed up. You, then you should sell them. No, no, my kids can sell them three years after I'm dead. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I had this conversation with my family a couple of days ago. Where they they yell at me. My wife yells at me because I don't open my toys, especially like you know all the memorabilia. Because I have I have a huge uh, Superman action figure, okay, that I bought one for Cole and I bought one for myself. Okay, and Cole, you know, he plays with it and destroys it, whatever. That's what he's you supposed know, to do with it. right? He's a kid. Me, I kept mine in the box and I put it away in, in the back. Listen, you explain stuff to me. I still have a Lino. Yeah, I still have a Lino. I have a He Man. Yeah, yeah. Battle Damage Team Man, remember that? Yeah. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> I still I still have, you remember the old Power Rangers when you touch the belt and the head flips over? Yeah, yeah. I got one of them too. Yeah. I got the green one. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy's the man. I got a green ranger, yep. Yeah. Uh, oh, speaking of Power Rangers, uh, Johnny and Bosch was there. He, he, was the, he was Adam, the Black Ranger. Okay. The one right after Zach, you know, like the next crew that was in the, yeah. that was in the Mighty Morphin movie when, the, when they became the ninjas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He was there. I like that movie. So that was um, a good movie. Yeah, I love that movie as a kid. <laughs> yeah. My friend Joey at work, he has a picture of the second Power Ranger crew, which is, which is, um, you know, Adam, Aisha, Rocky, right, yeah, Tommy, yeah. Billy, mm -hmm. Kimberly. Yeah. He has everyone's autograph except for Billy. Oh. He has all their autograph because he's went to different cons. Yeah. And got a signature from each actor. Right. So the only one he doesn't have is Billy because that guy really doesn't come out too much. I think his name is David Yoist or something. Yeah, like yeah. He, I, I watched a video on him a couple months ago, actually, where he, he says that he doesn't really want anything to do with the Power Rangers anymore yeah. because I think he came out as, as gay and then uh, the cast and crew like kind of shamed him. And that's kind of the reason up. why he left. Which is fucked up. But, right. but there was this um, on YouTube. It's, it's like an unrated Power Rangers movie preview. Yeah. Done by all act, you know, by uh, Dawson's in it. <laughs> James Vanderbeek. He's in it. He plays Rocky's character. Okay, but it's it's like a graphic trailer. Like it's it's yeah. fucking brutal. Yeah, you know, in that trailer though, they touch on the fact that Billy Cranston. I think mm -hmm. His name is Billy. I think it's Cranston, right? Yeah. No, I think you're thinking of uh, Brian Cranston. The, the Brian Cranston, the yeah. meth dealer. Yeah, <laughs> but but I know I know it's Billy. Yeah. You know? Watch out, Billy! I know it's Billy. <laughs> But in that unauthorized trailer, you know, because it's just a fan-made trailer, they touch on the fact that Billy 
in the Pirates universe is yeah. gay. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, because they, they weren't shaming him for that. They were saying, you right. know, if that's your character, that's, if that's who you want right. in life, right. we're going to pay respect to that. Yeah. And so they, they just touched on that in the trailer, and the trailer was great. Mm-hmm. They got the original actress who plays Rita Repulsa <laughs> to be in that trailer. Wow. It was great. It was like five minutes long or something. It was fantastic. Yeah, I think I seen this. Yeah, I think I. Seen I that. sent it to you because in the beginning you see the you see the Megazord fighting this I don't know this alien yeah. Zord and they they're brawling and the Power Rangers aren't even in it. They're on the ground. They're they're like troops on the yeah. ground and shit. It's fantastic. You gotta <laughs> check it out. It's fucking cool. You know, I I think now it's on like a YouTube Plus account or whatever. Like you have to have a specific account, but if you're a cheater like like me, you just screen record it and save it. <laughs> What? It's my iCloud. I can put in there what I want. <laughs> if uh, if you hear any banging or background noise, they're doing construction next to the studio over here, so pay no mind. Pay no mind to that. <laughs> pay no mind. Will you shut the fuck up? We are recording! <laughs> <laughs> but Comic-Con, from the pictures you sent me, looked like it was so much fun. So much fun. The cosplay was incredible. They have a whole new building. Yeah. A whole new building Yeah, you go to. That's where I watched uh, the trailer for My Hero Academia, but the size of this theater room that they put you in. Yeah. Dude, I shit you not. The size of that thing. Yeah, it's big. Big is an understatement. It was massive. Yeah. I've I've never actually been to a convention, which is surprising. The, the crowd of people, you know how many people were in, in that room was over? Like 800 people were in that room. Mm. There was still space in the back. Wow. High ceilings, a big stage up there. Mm-hmm. Voice actors from the movie and from the show talking they had this really nice guy up there he was just like you know just just really like giving all the love to the fans mm. because he was super excited to be there it was his first comic con it was his it was what would you call um his first comic con he's been brand new to the show and he was just feeling the love right and he was giving the love back we as the fans appreciate that that's yeah. why we give love to our fans absolutely because we we love that shit yeah it's Which so is why, fun. especially now that the holiday season's coming up with oh, Christmas yeah. coming, Frank and I are going to be running a Secret Santa giveaway. <laughs> it's not going to be revealed what we're giving away right now, but just uh, know just know that uh, Frank and I from the Basement Surge will be giving away something uh, for Christmas this year to a special listener. So leave some comments below uh, to enter to win. Yeah. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. And... Uh, it automatically enters you. Yes, it does. Good. <laughs> no, it's just, it was great. I kept in contact with you. And then we started talking about the surge uh, again because yep. we, we both been really busy. Yeah. You know, between work and kids and all this other shit and then dealing with what's going on in the world, which we won't touch on. Yeah. But it was madness. But it was, it was madness, though. Mm-hmm. And Sunday at Comic Con is what's called Kids Day. <laughs> Dude, don't go on a Sunday. No? No. Now, listen, listen. I barely like my own kids. I don't fucking like anybody else's kids. All right, I'm not gonna deal with them being little assholes running around swinging swords and hit me in the dick. <laughs> all right, I got hit in the leg twice by two different kids. Wow. Yeah, I was like, mm. watch where you're going. Mm. Plus, I got plus. Uh, we took the baby with us on Sunday. Yeah. So you know, we we had him his little flash costume, his little flash socks. He was he was ready to go. And he he did good walking around. He did great. Yeah. He was so good. We fed him. I was online for Dante Basco to get his autograph on uh, on Sunday. I was on the line for like um, a little a little over an hour. He was sitting, wow. with, he was sitting with, with with Jamie. She fed him, burped. He took a nap. It's fucking great. It's great travel, buddy. Yeah, he loved the train where we were going on the train. He was like looking all around. Yeah, what what really creeped me out was that elevator you you, you were on. Yeah. So I said, all I thought about in that elevator, all right, I'm going to send him a picture and, and he'll probably will post it, was, was like, the self destruct sequence has been activated. <laughs> this sequence may not be aborted. Right. <laughs> if I was on a ramp and everything, I was always like, oh, my God, is Nemesis coming? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll throw it up on the Instagram. <laughs> oh, my God. I was like, what the hell is this? Yeah. <laughs> Three elevators to get from the seven train to the freaking surface. Yeah. Three elevators. Well, it's a huge place. It's a, it's a convention center. Yeah, it's huge. And then I know that they have their own uh, train stop in the subway. Mm-hmm. So it probably goes all the way underground, all the all way up. All the way down, dude. Yeah. And the elevators, like there was one elevator that moved quick, but the ramp, the the one on the, on the ramp, that one was super slow. Yeah. I mean, super slow. <laughs> like Resident Evil. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Resident Evil's like, we're trying to get the fuck out before this place blows up. No, this one was like, we're moving. 
That's how that shit was moving. But we did a shit ton of walking around. My feet still fucking hurt. Yeah. My blind Milo, a back hurt. I went to go see, him, see my chiropractor, and I was in so much pain. He goes, you went, you, you're you going to Comic-Con, right? Yeah, you're walking around all day on concrete, you dumb fuck. That's why your back hurts. <laughs> he put me on the table and stretched me out, and I heard my bones crack. Yeah. And he stretched me out, and then he turns me this way, and he turns me that way. But I mean, my upper body is one way. My lower body, he's just turning and I, stretching. I, I need to go to a chiropractor. You need to give me a guy's number. Oh, my God. Yeah. It's so great. It feels so good. And then he hits me with this with this massager. Yeah. Oh, my God. All I need is a reach around. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> done. Oh, man. Fuck, I'm empty. Yeah. <gasps> but Comic-Con sounds like it was a lot of fun. Uh, I definitely have to go next year. And the food? Food was great. Overpriced as fuck. Oh, I was just about to say how how much. <laughs> well, the food. There was this one place I ate at, and they were it was Korean barbecue bowls. Yeah, with either steak, chicken, or pork, mm-hmm. and it was like a nice sized bowl, and they had kale in there, and kimchi, and roasted corn, and a protein of of your choice, and the sauce on it, and it was like sixteen bucks. But it was like a nice heavy and rice also. But that was it was sixteen bucks. But that was worth it. Like that was really good. Like I ate that, and that they was had good. that at Comic Con. Yeah, wow, it's good. Surprising. It was good, but um, you know the dollar fifty bo- bottles of water. Yeah, yeah. Comic Con, they they wanted five dollars. Five dollars. Wow. Five dollars. So I said no, no. I, I I I didn't do it. The next day, me and Jamie brought our water bottles because you could bring your water bottle in. Oh, okay, good. So good. I brought my water bottle. Fuck you. It's five dollars. <laughs> Out of here. So, Comic Con sounds like it was great. Uh, so great. Yeah, you know, I'm definitely gonna make it next year. You gotta come. Yeah, at least one or two days. You know, yeah. definitely. Like you said, the mystery but, boxes alone are worth <clears> it. <throat> definitely. Like you said, definitely not on a Sunday though. Not on Kids Day. No, 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 no. Um, but Saturday's really hard to get. Saturday was sold out before we even got into the queue. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're they're special. They're, there's people who have like. Four day passes and also people who are in the entertainment in- industry mm-hmm. who have like first choice. So sure. they get in there quicker than the rest of us. Yeah. So Saturday was all gone. So I didn't get to meet John Cena, even though I probably wouldn't have seen him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but, but uh, a, a couple weeks ago also was DC Fandom. Uh, oh, yeah. I, I see. I missed that. Yeah. You, I, you showed me the trailers. They were great. I, w- I was pretty upset because I missed it. I was in Pennsylvania visiting my mom. And um, and it was on that Saturday that we were there. So I, I tuned in when it started. And they started right away. I was watching like the first 15, 20 minutes. And they started right away with the Black Adam trailer. Okay. and I, Which is pretty cool. It was good. I mean, I was a little let down, kind of. They're, they're not giving you too much. That's, That's what, what I is. mean. They're not giving you too much, which is good. That's what I mean, because, you know, I wanted to see more of him in the costume. It's more, that trailer showed him basically in the hood. Like, you can't really see his face. You can't really see his costume. You can tell it's a rock, though. Look at that chin. That's of cool. course you could tell. But but other than that, it looked pretty awesome. When he electrocuted that guy <laughs> yeah. into fucking bones and then threw it. Yeah. You know, but see, that's the trailer. I, those are the trailers I like. I don't like a trailer that shows me the movie. Yeah. I know. I want to be. I want to be intrigued. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Fucking, you know, and that's it. I want. I want. I want. I want to be able to. I want more. Right. I yeah. want to go for it. Yeah. You know, and uh, and I thought it was great. You know, and I, I really look forward to seeing the Black Adam movie. I really do. You know, especially since our future president is going to be Black Adam. Yes. So. <laughs> Vote for the Rock. That's right. <laughs> Um, but after that, I didn't really turn it back on because I don't have the best cell service at my mom's. You don't. You're fucking up in PA. Yeah. So that was me. I hit the mouse. I'm sorry. (laughs) So, um, you know, so I just gave up and I just waited until I got back to civilization to, uh, to watch the rest of the trailers that I missed. And it turns out that I, I really wasn't too interested in what the rest of the show was because they showed trailers to new Batman games and, you know, vi- Gotham other video Knights. games, That's Gotham Knight. It looks good, you know, but I, I don't really have interest in that. What so. I like about it is that it's co-op. So, you know, yeah, I yeah. like to play games with, with you, mm-hmm. you know, like I'm excited to get back into Diablo 2. Yeah. So this year, I think 
uh, DC Fandom was like something like three and a half, four hours long, right? Last year when it first premiered, because this is this is only the second year that it, it's well, on. I remember the first year. <laughs> Last year when it first premiered, we, it was on for eight hours. We did a marathon, and we did a live stream marathon for eight hours straight. I was in and out. <laughs> you were in and out. We had multiple guests, guys from Dad Narok, yeah, uh, Fat Drunk and Stupid, you know, uh, Dad's Worldwide. Hey, you guys, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know, we had a bunch of people on. I love you too, Chunk. That uh, that stuck that stuck it out with me and uh, hung out. Yeah, I was yeah. bouncing in and out. I had so much shit going on. It, it, it was great. It was it was such a great event last year, you know. And I was hoping to do it again this year, but you know, um, I didn't realize it was kind of my mess up because I didn't realize what day it was coming on. And then we had scheduled to go up to see my mom. So so I didn't schedule the live stream, which I'm kind of okay with because yeah, it was only three and a half hours. Yeah, but look what happens though. You hang out with your wife, you got eight kids. Stop hanging out. <laughs> yeah. But um, so the other trailer that I was really, really super excited about was Flash. Yes. Okay. I was hoping you'd bring that up. Flash was awesome. What made it awesome was Michael Keaton's narrative. Yes. The narrative. Him narrating the. Yeah. Because he's asking him a, a legit question. Why would you save this universe? Right. And it's the beginning of Flashpoint. Yes. Okay. Like they're not, they're not promoting that. Which I'm like... Maybe it's too soon. Maybe it's too early. Maybe they don't want to give away the, the, the chickens before they hatch or whatever. Eh, whatever. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah. No, <laughs> I, I love the Flashpoint storyline. I love Flashpoint Paradox. You know, and what's so great about it is that we have a, an, an Aquaman actor. We have a yeah. Wonder Woman actor. And to see them on screen fight each other to the death would mm -hmm. be incredible. Yeah. Yeah. So my question is, is that being that this is Flashpoint, uh, we know it's Flashpoint. They haven't said anything, but we, we know it is. We know it is. Okay. Um, is Michael Keaton playing... Uh, is he playing Batman Bruce Wayne, or is he playing Batman Bruce Wayne's dad? Thomas Wayne? Thomas. I think he is Bruce from an alternate dimension. I don't think he's Thomas, because Thomas has a whole different costume makeup, and the red sigil, right, and the guns. True, but you only seen the back of his head. Well, in the in the... In the set pictures, you see he's wearing the 89 costume. Okay. With the yellow crest and the yellow belt. You right. Know what I mean? Okay. Love that toy. Well, then it's good because then he will actually be Bruce Wayne Batman. Yeah. Which is good because I didn't want him to well, be anybody the else. The reason I was so excited about Flashpoint was because in the Batman v Superman, when they showed the flashback, mm. Jeffrey D. Morgan, who plays Negan, yeah. who was a comedian in, uh, in Watchmen, that he was Thomas Wayne. Mm -hmm. And I could see him as the Thomas Wayne Batman. Oh, absolutely. He's got the chops for it. He's got the build. Yeah. You know what I mean? He's got the attitude. Mm -hmm. And the girl who plays Maggie from The Walking Dead mm -hmm. was Martha, who was the Flashpoint Joker. Right. And to, and, and to just imagine her, because she has a nice big smile, too, mm -hmm. to imagine her in that makeup. Like, I've seen some fan-made stuff with her, you know, them taking a picture of her from The Walking Dead smiling. Yeah. And then... Fixing it up and photoshopping it with the right. white with the white makeup and everything looks sick. I mean, yeah. so sick. Hmm. But I could so see him as as Flashpoint Batman, Thomas Wayne. Yeah, with the guns, you know. And the, I'm just super hyped. Michael Keaton's in this, you know, as Batman. Like, what? yeah. And Ben Affleck is Batman also. Yeah, he's also in it. Yeah. So, uh, did you see the Flash suit? The suit, the, the, the new Fifty Two suit, bro. Looks with the, ridiculous. The lightning bolts through it. Love it. I Look, he it. looks great. Yeah. I still don't like the way he runs, but yeah. But you know what? He looks great. Yeah. And he plays a nice young Barry Allen because he's mm -hmm. not even the Flash yet. Right. He doesn't he doesn't name himself. Even yet. in, in yeah. Justice League, he doesn't call himself the Flash. Yeah. You know what I mean? He so he's still a young Barry and he plays it very well. Mm -hmm. The only thing that upset me was they recasted um his dad. Okay. You know, I like Billy Crudup. He's just an actor that I like. You know? Doesn't make a difference. Yeah. <laughs> it's little things. I pick on little things. You know, that's what I do. Yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> now, to get to my favorite one Batman. All right. Battinson. <laughs> sparkly Batman. No, he's not the sparkle dude. He's a sparkle. If, if you watched, it, if you watched it clear, carefully, he made someone else sparkle. Don't don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I actually think Robert Pattinson's going to do a great job. Looks great. Yeah. He looks great. The storyline, Paul Dano is playing a fucking homicidal 
<laughs> Homicidal Riddler. I was, I was, I was really hating on uh, Robert Pattinson when I first heard about it. You did the same thing with Ben Affleck. <laughs> I know, I, I know, but but Affleck is the best Batman. Come on, that warehouse scene. Come on, till the, that warehouse <laughs> scene. Why is my ass vibrating? I don't know who that is. <laughs> Sorry, back to original schedule program. <laughs> Colin Farrell is 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 Oswald Cobblepot. He's the Penguin, yep. and he looked great in the trailer. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zoe Kravitz, you know, some people complained about her being Selena Kyle, but the way she looks, her suit, her haircut, because mm-hmm. they said that this Batman has only been Batman for like two or three years. Yeah, it's the beginning. So, yeah. so it's kind of like Batman Year One, mm-hmm. along with the Long Halloween, right? Because in the Long Halloween, he's not the world's greatest detective yet. There's even a line that he has that that says he never imagined the Batman would have to be a detective. Yeah. You know what I mean? He has rudimentary skills. And you know? I want to say that there's hints of Court of the Owls. Yeah. In it, so there's a lot going on. It looks great cuz they said that, that that this Batman is Earth 2. Yeah. You know, he's not the Ben Affleck Earth Batman. No, they're not like revamping it. He's actually That's Earth 1. Yeah. Yeah. They're saying that this is like an Earth 2 Batman, like another universe Batman, which mm. I think is really cool. I don't care that Commissioner Gordon was casted with a black actor. No, but it's good. I don't care. It's good that they're casting different Batmans for different Earths because yeah. of Flash. Because the Flash movie because is going to open up. Do. He's going to open up the, the whole multiverse. multiverse. Right. It's fucking fantastic. And I love the way Zoe looks. She looks great. Mm-hmm. Even her hairstyle, the way, the way she cut her hair for the film coincides with long Halloween yeah. and year one with that short cropped hairstyle that, that Selena had. Mm-hmm. So to me, it looks great. Yeah. The only thing that I didn't like was that he's doing the bail type voice. Is he? In that one scene, he was like, he, he was saying something, yeah. you know, but he wasn't using a voice modulator like Affleck was like, I liked the voice modulator. Yeah. That was cool. Yeah. It wasn't like, swear to me. You know what I mean? It wasn't none, it wasn't none of that shit. Yeah. 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 What makes you so different? I'm not wearing hockey pads. That's what he sounds like. <laughs> it's terrible. Oh god. All right. the, 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 all, the best line that he did in that entire series was when the guy's like, Where are you? He's like, Here. <laughs> that shit fucked me up. If he did that to me, I'd be like, ah! <laughs> would have fucking shit myself. He would have never touched me. <laughs> would have fucking died right there in the docks. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, but the, but he's still a young Batman, and the fight scenes look nice and brutal and down and dirty because yeah. because he's still a young Batman, so he's fucking hurting people. <laughs> yeah, he looks pretty ruthless the way he beats on those criminals. And and you saw when they shot him. Yeah, you know, and it's like the shit bounced off. He was like, oh, and he went at him and still hit him. I was mm-hmm. like, yo, <laughs> yo, motherfuckers come a long way since Twilight. Okay? So so now the uh, one of the rumors going around online, and I told you this the other day. Um, was that you can't see Riddler's face in the trailer. No. Okay, and a lot of people are saying that not only is he Riddler, but he's also Joker. Because there is a certain scene, uh, well, number one, they're not showing you his face because there's something significant about his face in this movie. Okay, that, that'll give it away, or, you know, they, they did, they gave him a scar or makeup or whatever, right? Um, that they don't want you to see yet. But they said it was the Riddler, though. Like, it says it, and when you look at the cast, it says Paul Dano, right. the Riddler. Right, but there are also other scenes in the trailer where Batman goes to see him or somebody in uh, in a hospital, and, and like a like a jail hospital, like Arkham. And it's not they, Arkham they, yet. They're sitting, right. They're sitting between with the glass between them, and the, and the wall comes up. That's the scene I'm talking about when he screamed, and his voice was like, yeah. Yeah, so, but if you notice, as that thing goes up, when it gets to, it, like, his shoulder, when it's about to reveal his face, they cut away. So, who knows uh, what they're trying to do with Riddler right now. If, if you but also, anything, that, that, those, that gang of criminals that he was beating on in the trailers, if you look at them, they're kind, they kind of look like Joker's crew. Well, they are wearing makeup, like skull like looking makeup. Right. They are wearing makeup, you know, kind of reminiscent to what Joker's crew w- yeah. would be wearing. Uh, I, I, I'm actually hoping it's not the Joker because I'm happy that Riddler and Penguin and other people are getting some time. Right. Because yeah. we haven't had Penguin mm-hmm. since 1992. Yeah, since Jim Carrey. No. Um, I'm thinking Riddler. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, 1992, Batman Returns with Michael Keaton was Danny DeVito, was Penguin. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know? that was the only time. That was the only time. And then Jim Carrey afterwards in Batman Forever was the Riddler. Yeah. Which was a very ostentatious Riddler. We, we need to get Arnold back for Mr. Freeze. The fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> get the hell out of here. No, no? way. No way. No fucking way. <laughs> That's like saying, you know, let's get Uma Thurman back for Poison Ivy. I think that was a good cast. I'll hit you. <laughs> get some bat nipples. No. <laughs> Fucking rip your nipples off. But yes, Batman, Flash, and Black Adam are three of the movies that I cared the most about uh, for DC fandom. Yeah, go check out the trailers. They're on Basement Comics, right? Yeah, basementcomics.com. Check them out. That's what I did. They look great. Watch them in slow motion. Watch them in fast motion. Watch them out any way you want. Watch them on the bowl. I did. That's right. But (laughs) I'll leave all the links down below in the show notes. They look great. They look great. I'm really excited. But if Marvel has taught us anything, when it comes to trailers, yeah. they digitally remove things from the trailers. Right. Because they did a trailer where you sure, well, I forgot, what, I think it was Endgame with Rocket Raccoon opening up a door. Mm. And it was just him by himself. But in the movie, when he opens the door, the Hulk is behind him. Mm. So they... They add shit. They Yeah. They, they add and they remove shit from the yeah. trailers. Which is what I like. You know, get me intrigued. Mm-hmm. You know, because I just watched the Spider-Man trailer. Yeah. You know, with him and Doctor Strange and everything, and they're showing, they show Doc Ock. You didn't hear, I mean, you didn't see the Green Goblin, William Dafoe, but you heard William's laugh. Right. You know what I mean? You heard him laugh. You heard everything. So I'm gassed for that. I really am. I'm so gassed for that. But it's like, don't give me the movie in a trailer. I don't want the movie. Yeah. I want to see the movie. You want to be surprised. I do. Yeah. Because I'm hoping to see Toby and Andrew. You're not going to. Andrew Garfield was on... uh one of the late night shows. He's a lying motherfucker. And he said that all the hype is fabricated. Lies. <laughs> but all right, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we Good had a back. blast. Yeah. Um, Frank, it sounds like you had an awesome time. At I had a great time. Just exhausted. Comic-Con. Yeah. Exhausted. By the way, save your pennies, though, when you go, because I saved $800 for Comic-Con. I went home with two. That's expensive. <laughs> but that was for, you know, food, buying stuff, right. you yeah. know, stuff I wanted. Yeah, obviously, if you're going to go to Comic-Con next year, make sure you start saving now. Yeah. Um, I mean, one of the things is right over there. He's hanging up. Yeah. Reaper. You can't really see it. You can't really see him. Right here. Yeah. Frank, well, got, Frank got me a Superman uh, Christmas tree ornament. <laughs> Rebirth Superman, the black suit. That's right. <laughs> That's where, how we roll here. But all right, everybody, uh, if you want more of me and Frank from The Basement Surge, head on over to TheBasementSurge.com. Uh, it really is good to be back. <laughs> Would you stop grabbing my ass? I'm sorry. I missed you. <laughs> you can uh, listen to all our previous podcast episodes, watch our vodcast here, and uh, just read about whatever's going on in the basement. Yeah. Uh, check out Frank's New York City Comic Con post over in the blog, and uh, check out the pictures of him posing with the Ginyu Force. Uh-huh. And look out for the Let's Play series. That's right. Coming back, baby. Yes. So head on over to YouTube. Give us a subscribe, a thumbs up, and Frank. Ring that motherfucking bell. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to ring it once only over here, okay? Just, just once? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. My arm's feeling better. Oh, good. Uh, fuck you. <laughs> we'll see you next week, everybody. Let's go. Turn up the volume. The volume. From the basement of the Empire State, this is The Basement Surge with John and Frank.